Hey guys, welcome. Today we're going to be working on the grill for the custom 1940 Ford Coupe. I'm Nick from Envision Prototypes, and what I'm holding here is a sample piece. I'll bring it up closer. This is a sample piece we ran through the reciprocator hammer to um, reciprocating hammer to see if we can raise the center section. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can see that. It's stainless on stainless, so it's really difficult to see. You can feel it. It's subtle, and that's what we want. We don't want a huge raised section. We just want a, an accented area in the center of the grill. It'll give it a more of a production look instead of just a flat piece of mesh. Worst case, we just run with a flat mesh, but let's see if we can get this profile to get raised up in these pieces here. Now, this is the driver's side piece here. And as you can see, we've got a nice curvature going on. And the way I got that, I basically placed a rubber mat on the floor, grabbed a large rubber mallet, not a metal one, because you don't want to create dents in this, but uh, took a rubber mallet and just beat the living daylights out of this, bringing it down, stretching it, kind of giving it that curvature so that it fits up with the grill. If we just had a straight piece of mesh, we'd actually have a big space in the middle, and I didn't want that. So what we're going to do is we have some nuts welded in on the inside here, around the perimeter, and we're going to fasten this in place. We're going to try it with one first. And if it works out well, we'll go with the second one. So that's looking good there. Got these nice stainless fasteners. We don't want this rusting once uh, you know, it sees water. And if you recall, when I actually built the surrounding area, I couldn't get the mesh to sit properly because the vice grips were kind of preventing that. It's not sitting properly. Ah, uh, my vice grips are in the way. So, that's basically what it's gonna look like right there. And it has to turn just a little bit, Vice strips in the way down below, it's holding this. This has slid out a little bit for me trying to wiggle this in, so we'll have to tidy that up. It bugs me, it's not sitting the right way and don't like that. But that's the best we can do for now. Well, now we don't have any vice grips and I think we might have to trim that up. You see, I don't want to trim too much around the perimeter because as we raise the center, it's actually gonna pull the mesh inward. So let's mount it there. I probably won't put all the fasteners in. That's good. It has a little bit of give because it's mesh. Okay, I'm going to roll that over and see how it looks. Uh, maybe we'll put one more there. I don't want to cross thread that bolt. There we go. You've got to hold your tongue just right. Okay, let's leave it at that. Mm, see, one more there. All these bolts have a reason to be here. Okay, that's good. Let's roll this over. All right, now um, I can try putting masking tape on there, but well, you guys can't see that. Okay, now we can try putting some masking tape on here, but I'm pretty sure it won't be sticking. So we get a marker and mark this out. That's okay. Okay, that's the extreme point. And we're gonna have to take an Make sure that we're going to run that line 
in the valley. Not the high point, but the valley, so that it raises this up a bit of a diagonal through here. Fingers crossed. I hope this works. Got a nice soft blanket here. We still have to cut and polish everything. But I want to get the grill mesh fitted before we go ahead and do that. In case we get a mishap. Okay, so I'm going to be careful to rub the line off. You can see, it just barely shows up there. But that's the orientation we want. That's going to look good. It's going to take our time at this, and uh, hopefully it turns out well. Uh, biggest concern is going around this corner. These corners are a bit sharp. It's not too bad. Like This basically mimics the same thing here. The stroke on this machine is a bit much for what I want to do. I'd have to redo the bearing up there to correct that, so we're not going to do that today. Let's see. Switch is on. Let's go. Looking good, nice shape to it, and we have that nice profile happening. Okay, I've just tried it. I'm going to move in towards the center just a little bit. Just adjust. And our die looks pretty good. So, so far so good. You do not want to get your fingers stuck in there. Okay, that's it. That's looking very, very nice. See that raised center area? That looks like a factory stamp piece. So we're going to go fit this and then do the other one. Grab some lacquer thinner and wipe off the Sharpie line. Wash it off. I'm 
thinking to leave this mesh stainless color, my original color, instead of blacking it out. It might be too much black. That's going to look quite nice. Let us get a couple fasteners in here. And oh, right there. Got to make sure it's aligned. It's basically a safety so that in case somebody leans on this and bumps the foot control, they don't get their fingers turned into roast beef. All right, that's it. Feels good, looks good, it's consistent. This time I step back from the marker line inward and uh, yeah, that's it. Let's go install this. We're gonna put a couple of bolts in first to start off like last time. And if we need to readjust the orientation, we can still do that. Better than getting them all in and then trying to undo everything. Should be good there. That's going to be it. It's not bad. Let's get some more in. I was going to say first time's a charm, but let's get some more and see how it looks. Yeah, I like it better that way. Now we're not quite ready to install the grill into the front. Uh, still a little bit more work yet. Wiring harnesses need to be tucked away, wrapped up. Come on. It's all the little things. The stuff that nobody sees that goes into building a hot rod. I love all the popping sounds and noises. We may need a little friendly persuasion here. And no, I don't mean a hammer. Hmm. Now, I think there was a comment about the bottom of the fascia, this area through here. Uh, not being supported or being held in place. I didn't quite understand what uh, was meant by that, but we have fasteners on each side, as well as across the bottom, which is gonna hold that fish up. So if you're watching this video, and uh, ooh, look at that, and, you, uh, and you're the one that made a comment about the bottom uh, falling down, these fasteners down here are gonna solve that problem. Okay, last one. Let's double check. Make sure everything looks good. Yes sir, Bob. That's it. I don't know who Bob is, but uh, I've heard people say that. That's feeling mighty fine. A little bit of dust on it. We'll get that all cleaned up. That feels good, looks good. That's it. Okay, that's one grill assembled. So this does not look like it was handmade.
All right, guys, so how does that look? From your couch, you probably can't even see that little reveal we put in around the perimeter of each of these pieces of mesh. But they're there, and they're subtle, and when you walk up close and you look at it, you can just see that little, little bump. The mesh is sitting nice and snug around this black surround, and uh, we can call this done. So we'll get this installed once those uh, harnesses are all tied up out of the way, and all the wiring for the front is done and uh, get that finished. In the meantime, we're gonna disassemble all this. Yeah, we're gonna take it all apart again. Mark it first, of course. And then we're gonna cut and polish the black surround, make sure it's all pretty, reassemble it, and then put it into storage so that it's ready to get installed later. If you like this episode, please hit the like button. Thanks for watching and catch you guys later.